what exactly is data scraping? That's been for data. Isn't it? Data scraping is a practice that can automatically extract data from websites, databases and other computer softwares. It is often known as data extraction. It imports data from websites and convert it into readable output format. Due to the increasing competition nowadays, businesses are mostly dependent on data and statistics, which further helps in development of business strategies and also make effective decisions. Hence, this method is considered as a fast and efficient manner than the traditional copy-pasting method as it is very time consuming in nature and further reduces errors. Data scraping is also used in the competitive analysis of comparing prices, increasing reliability and monitoring customer reviews. It is not only associated to any specific industry and is widely practiced. It further gives advantages to the businesses that they can get such wide information in such short time period. But sometimes data scraping can also infringe intellectual property rights of an organization or of a particular individual to whom such information belongs to. It can further lag your websites and can also cause infringement of copyrighted content which is available on that website. Data scrapping when used in illegal ways to extract confidential information can severely harm and damage the business prospects of a particular company. Now we will talk about legalities surrounding data scraping in India. First, data scrapped comes under literary work as section 2O of the Copyright Act 1957 talks about that literary work includes compilation and data scrapping is a form of compilation. Second, section 43 of the Information and Technology Act 2000 counters unlawful data scrapping and provides sanctions for any damage done to a computer system by a computer contaminant which modify or destroy the data in the computer system and also provides penalties associated with it. Third, Section 66 of the Information and Technology Act 2000 provides punishment for the acts done under Section 43. The imprisonment can extend up to three years and the fine can get further extended to Rs 5 lakhs. Fourth, the Indian Penal Code 1860 provides punishment related to identity theft and unlawful personation of data. Section 464 talks about offences related to identity theft Section 465 talks about false documentation and Section 468 talks about forgery. So much I did not know. With the increase in the use of technology, data scrapping has proved to be a very beneficial tool not only for businesses but also for customer satisfaction. The time has come to balance out legality surrounding data scrapping so that companies don't get their data stolen and abused from their websites. For more such interesting content, follow us on our social media channels. Press the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Short. Focused. Insightful.